everyone, in today's quick Facebook video, I wanna show you how to save all your messenger messages off of Facebook and save it as a PDF file. I just wasted a ton of time basically copying each line, each sentence I was doing this for work to help someone with a tech question. And we went through a conversation and I thought it'd be easier if I just have it all in one place. I was trying to basically copy each sentence, put it in a Word document, and then I did a bit of research and found a much, much easier way that Facebook gives you. Let me show you how to save an entire message thread on Messenger as a PDF file. Now you have to do this on a computer, on Mac or PC. It doesn't actually work on your phone. The whole thing actually doesn't work. Half of it works on the phone, but the rest you have to use a computer. So I'll show you the whole process on a computer here. The first thing we need to do is obviously go to facebook.com and log into your Facebook page and then press this down arrow right here and you want to click on settings and privacy and you want to go to the settings page of Facebook. Now here by default you land on the general page but we want to go down to your Facebook information. Click this. And on this page right here, there's an option for downloading your information. You wanna press view right here. And by default, everything, these are all the things, by the way, you could download from all your Facebook history. So all your posts, photos, comments are all available here. But I'm gonna deselect everything and scroll down because I only care about messages, Facebook messages in this case. So this time I'm going to select this option right here. And let me go back on top and I wanna create a file here. But before I press create a file, look right here. This actually lets you change the date range. So instead of downloading everything you've ever done on Messenger, you could select a range, HTML is good, and quality, leave it on high. Now if you change this, it's gonna save you some time. All your data might take you a while. In my case, it took me about 12 to 13 minutes the last time I tried this. And then you would press create file right here. Now I already did this for the sake of this video. So the next thing that happens is you get an email and then when it's available, it will appear right here on available copies. So give it a minute or give it 10, 20 minutes depending on the size of your messages. Now you can see this one's pending, but this one is ready. So you would get a download option right here. Press download when it's available for you and it's gonna download it to your computer as a zip file. Mine's about 95 megabytes here. So here's that zip file. It went to my download folder. I'm gonna double click to open it and it's gonna create a folder for me. I'll go inside of that folder. And here, if you open up your messages tab, you could actually save any archive threads or any active ones in your inbox. You could do both. Even message requests, the ones that you maybe haven't responded to, they're all available. So you could look through these. I'll go to my inbox and it's gonna have everyone by name. So I'm just blurring this because this is my actual Facebook. But let me jump in here and it's gonna show up your messages like this, depending on what folder you went to. Double click it and it will open up that archive messenger conversation just like this. I'm going to go ahead and press print now. So you come up here, file. And I'm using Chrome here as my browser, but it should work in almost all browsers. Press print. And you want to save as PDF up here on their destination. So if you change this to be PDF, and you save it. And I'm gonna choose my desktop here, press save as PDF. And here's that conversation as a PDF document. Let me press spacebar just to preview it. And you can see all the different pages right here. I could jump between and it's saved just like that. And that should save you a lot of time saving directly from Facebook with their tool, your messenger conversations and print or save them as PDF. I hope you found this helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and I hope to catch you on the next video.